Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Pokemon Violet, and it has been a while. So, this time as you saw in the thumbnail, we are going to catch the second Maridon, which is in here. I actually saw him um, when I was looking in the Paldeo Crater. I should have realized where he was going to spawn. I don't know where exactly he is. I saw him, I can't remember where it is. I think he's like in the beginning base area, so we'll go there right now. And after that, yeah, it has been a while, and one of the reasons why was, well, this is only one of them. There's a lot, there's a couple of them. But it was because I really wanted to get this. Where is it? Where are you? Here it is. I wanted to get some of the, well, I wanted to get one of these. I don't know how I have three. But, but I wanted to get at least one of these so I could complete the quest for the teachers, right? The one teacher, the cooking one. And of course, you got the history teacher as well. I, I really forgot the names. It feels like it's been forever since I played, but that's what we are doing. So I want to get that so I can talk to them after we catch Mariah. And hopefully, it doesn't take too long. Uh, station four. I don't know where exactly station four was. It's a destroyed one. Okay. So out we go. Let's see, I have my Gallade and I have my Breloom, and then I just have my other Pokemon there. They're hanging out. Wrong button. Once again, it's been a while. So let's see. I don't remember it there being not much noise. You're not shiny, are you? It's been so long, I don't know what a shiny Pokemon looks like. I caught a shiny recently. Actually, I do want to show that just because it's a thing that happened. Every time I try to catch a shiny through like um, what should I call it? Uh, let's see, what was it? Change this? No. Here we go. Every single time I try to hunt for a shiny, like through like um, outbreaks, it's painful. <laughs> it really is painful. But of course, I don't use any food, so that's kind of my fault, I guess. All right then, down we go. Where exactly is it? Oh my god. <laughs> I found you. Well, that didn't take long. Okay, cool. Oh my god, the Dunspar. So are you okay? Well, found him. He's right there, hanging out. Hello. I'm gonna do this. The Dunspar is very passive, right? They're not gonna like run on top of me. Where'd they go? All right then, Maridon. What level are you? Seventy. 60? He might be 60. I'm once again gonna be catching the poke. Oh, that looks so weird. <laughs> the back, the um, the reflection. All right, Maridon. Okay then, since you are electric, that's why I bring you, so I could use. That's four. And this is them to sleep. Okay, I'm using. Th I wanted to use this because paralysis to me is just. Wait a minute, you're not gonna get paralyzed, are you? Can you paralyze an electric Pokemon? No, I'm kind of stupid. For some reason, I thought um, nuzzle or something could work. Eh, it's okay. <laughs> I was like, it's a grass move. It's not gonna work. It's like, wait a minute, paralysis doesn't work. So high up, and he looks very big. This from this up close. There we go. See, full stripe. I'm assuming I'm. Wait, what's your level? I actually, I, I didn't even bought 72. 72. That's not. What a weird number. Uh, I guess I'm using Sacred Sword, huh? And also, you're really fast. Jeez, you're faster than my gully. Oh wait, should I bring like, should I get like Iron Valiant? Is it, are you got Iron Valiant? Oh my lord, what the heck? Okay. And that looked like a false start with how um, close he, did he even lose it? I wish I could see how much health he had left. That would have been hilarious if it was one, but I doubt it was one. Oh well, good job. Maybe Iron Valiant wouldn't have been a good choice. Iron Valiant would have killed him. 
All right, Berlin, time to spam Spore. Uh-oh. Oh, All right, I'm a grass type. <gasps> Holy mother gosh. What's your love? What's your stats? <laughs> Glade, what's your speed? Uh-oh. We're gonna have some problems. Um, and Breloom has one thing I really don't appreciate in a Pokemon. It's got Effect Spore. Ooh, should I change that? I have patches. Effect Spore sucks on Breloom. Hmm. I can't- I don't- I'm just gonna use Hypnosis. Like, Breloom can't take a hit. It's okay, Balloon. It's 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 fine. What a weird level, though. Level seventy-two. Hyper Beam. Right, hypnosis. All right, cool. Now you can throw some Pokeballs, I guess. And Hyper Beam, Electro Drift, Charge, and Power Jam. We're using Pokeballs here because. This Mirana is going to somebody. Ah. Oh, I got my critical capture recently, so I doubt I was actually going to get it this time. My luck's not that good. Now, come on, Pokeball. Ah, oh, come on. How much turns does it take? It's like a... Three or something? Like, every single turn he gets higher chance to awake? Ooh, man, this might take a while. Oh, wow, man, you sleep for a long time. That's awesome. Okay, cool. I really wish my Breloom was a little bit bulkier. I think I could have done a little bit more prepping for that. I was like, I was really confident in my Breloom. Power gem? Okay, this doesn't hit hard, does it? No, it doesn't. Awesome. We're just going to keep using Hypnosis. And you're fast. Is it because of the charge? I didn't even bother checking what stats increase the charge. I thought it was like attack and... What, a defensive stat? Or an electric move? No, I think it's electric move does more damage. Alright, Pokeball. Come on, Ryan. Just stay in the ball, please. Thank you. Not even one... Not even one shake. Also, it, look, the coloring is really weird on him or weird. Come on! This is this is what I get for using a Pokeball, I think. But this is also this is also um kind of signed up for this when this is the goal to use a Pokeball for every Pokemon. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of other Pokeballs that would do a much better job, like a Fast Ball Turn One, or is this a cave? This kind of is a Dusk Ball location. Does it? I mean, this is literally underground. So, come uh, on, no. Maybe Dusk Ball works? I mean, a Timer Ball would also be good, because, well, I'm... This is a long fight. Ooh. Okay, we need to... That's a really cool move, though. Is that the move that, like, annihilated Breloom? I mean, I'm... I guess I'm using this one. Maybe I should buy potions. I haven't bought a single potion in this game ever, I think. Don't know where I got those, but, you know... Electro Drift? Man, does it, it actually looks really cool, though. I've never seen the move because I never used my Maradon. Okay, let's see what, what stat changes. Special Defense? That's it. Okay. Man, I wish... It's the only problem I don't like about Electric Pokemon, though. Paralysis doesn't work. It's, it makes it kind of painful. Oh my god, is that a crit? Oh wait, no, that's a, that's a charge does. Oh no. This is the worst time for Hypnosis to actually hit. Uh-oh. Because Moradon uses a move and wakes us up. I'm kind of done for, aren't I? I'll use a revive, it's okay. Come on, let this be the last one. It definitely was not the last one. Alright, that's my one free turn of sleep. Come on, Pokeball. I'm going to chance it. Oh my gosh. Are you still sleep? Awesome. I'm going to use a potion. Or a full restore, I guess. 
Because I don't want to get blasted. Actually, without charge, would I get blasted from like an Electro Drift right now? I don't think so, right? Still sleeping. Alright then. We'll throw this and then we'll see... Uh, we'll probably skip it to where we actually catch the guy. Unless... Ah, oh, I was about to say. <laughs> you know what? One more try. One more try. <laughs> So close. Damn. Let's see. Hypnosis. I'm surprised you're so fast. Oh, you didn't use charge, so it makes sense it did not much damage. And it didn't hit. It only hits when, um. I know I think it one shot by something, I feel sometimes. A crit. It's a good thing it does no damage. Alright, go back to sleep, please. Thanks. Alright. Because of my lap, I got really lucky last time. Let's see if I get yeah. Come on, more add on. No. This is definitely not a. Um... Man, I don't remember any of the last four legendary names anymore. Chu Yi. Um, Shenlong. Uh,. The grass slug thing. Man, that one is painful. I hated that one, actually. Probably my worst legendary in a while. In any game. Oh, wait. Is that a critical? Yes! I was actually not looking into... <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to that when that happened. Awesome! Thanks. Why? Well, I didn't have to... Um, add to my party. Uh, you can, you can go to the box, I guess. You know what? I'm gonna add you to the party. Yeah, sure. All right, let's check him out. Oh wait, that's that's a misclick. My bad. Let's check you out. I think that's just him really being really angry that he got caught. Oh, Electro Drift was only five. Oh, I wasn't gonna get hit by it anyways. Probably should look at that. Turns the ground Electro Train when the Pokemon into battle. With special attack style and electric turn. Cool. It's kind of cool looking. Next to Thrash about. Sounds about right. Alright, then let's go back to the. Not over here. Let's go back to the academy. And let's talk to the professors about legendary Pokemon and it's turning that sweet herba mystica. And then next time we are going to be taking on the gyms. We're going to do gym rematches. I think I'm going to be doing two a video because I don't. I don't know what else is involved with them. Now let's me see the towns again, because I don't really do I don't really check out the towns very often, unless it's like the ice town, the one with the ghost gym leader. That's the one you I visit very very often. But other than that, I don't really visit the other ones really. Okay, so what happens if I do this? All right, uh, you're definitely not a shiny, but I'm gonna keep you over here anyways because I don't want to move my party around. If I do this. Well, no one cares if Morano's on my team, right? No one actually cares. Which is funny. So, if I bring in some legendaries. And a sneak peek of what my team setup is probably going to be. For some gems. Uh, there you go. Okay, let's talk to you. Tails, did you find any of the treasures of Ruin? I did. Oh, you caught Ting Lu, the Vessel of Ruin. Oh, how interesting. I simply cannot keep my curiosity under control. Judging by its shape and size, this vessel I was vessel was almost certainly not for everyday use. Perhaps it was a work of art, or better yet, a ritual artifact housing some sort of deity. I feel that like there must be some meaning behind the horns and designs resembling eyes. Could it be that this artifact was fashioned after the deity's very appearance? This mystery grows even deeper. Ah, oh, my thirst for knowledge is slowly being crunched. Hmm? You look like you have something more to report. What is it? Oh, you caught Chien Pao, the Sword of Ruin. Oh, how interesting. I simply cannot keep my curiosity. Oh. So the sword's blade and hilt form the Pokemon's left and right fangs. I wonder if the sword broke when it became a Pokemon, or perhaps it always was that. No way, I cannot imagine the king wanting to buy a broken sword. 
Maybe it was some sort of weapon that was meant to be used in this broken state. This mystery goes ever deeper. Uh, even more, yeah. You caught Wochi and the ta tablets of ruin? Uh oh, how interesting. i never seen so many wooden writing tablets strung together. It must have been an epic tale. Most excavated tablets are a tantamount to graffiti on s or simple memos. Still valuable tools for learning about the past, but nothing like this. I can't read it, but given the length, it must be a story. Yes, or perhaps the words of a curse. If only the words weren't faded. How frustrating. These word tablets, wooden tablets, speak the curiosity of a king. What might have been written on them? I have one more, right? Now you got Chi Yu, the beads of ruin. The fish, right? How interesting, I seem to cannot keep my cure. Yep. Beads like these were thought to be sacred and thus were worn during religious rituals. I believe they were most often worn as a single bead on the night, on the neck like a pendant, but it seems Chi Yu has four of them. Were the beads worn in pairs like on the ears and wrists, or were the rituals perhaps performed by four people? What on earth could have caused beads such as these, originally used to ward off disaster, to become fingers of disaster themselves? This mystery goes ever deeper. Seeing part of history with my own eyes fills me with joy. I thank you, Tells. This is simply amazing. You have now reported back to me with all four of the treasures of ruin. I never thought that you would be able to do this much for me. You have my thanks. I would have liked to go looking for the treasures of ruin myself and make them my own. But I suppose it was precisely because I sent you someone with a pure heart that we were able to accomplish this feat. They may be the treasures of my dreams, but I will allow you to have them for now. Consider this a symbol of my gratitude to... Gratitude too. Take it. It is yours. Nasty plot. Um, okay. <laughs> now you truly are an interesting one, aren't you, Tails? I hope you don't mind if I continue to keep an eye on you. I think that's my last uh, conversation with her, probably. I do want to take a quick look at them. So the first one they talked about was you, I think? Which is very... I... yeah. And yeah, you got this guy. Very cool. That team loop. And Chiyu. Cool. Alright then, let's go and talk to the last professor. Alright, there's only one more. Homek. Seems to be the case. And getting that sweet herb or mystical is kind of painful because my luck was kind of garbage. Whenever I try to do terror right then, I think I've done like 40 of them and then I only got 3 of them in the last 2. It was very weird how stacked that was. Actually, I got two in one. I was wondering how I got three, but I'm pretty sure I got... I got five. Actually, I have a picture of it. Um, Where is it? <laughs> uh, it's very nonsensical. Alright, like this thing? I only got one. Huh. That made no sense. Whatever. I think that's a Gengar, too. Master Tails, have you anything to report about the sweet Herba Mystica? Yeah, here. So this, this is Sweet Herba Mystica. I must, yes, I must create something with it right away. Well, are you gonna make me a sandwich? I love sandwich. It's so very sweet. My what ambrosial sweetness. It is like a sweeter honey, a much sweeter honey. Yes, as if honey's sweetness were multiplied by 100. Hey, Mr. Sagiara, what you eating? Ah, uh, it smells super sweet, and you look so happy eating it. No, you see, uh, there is a reason for this. You don't look like someone who likes sweets, but that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I spent my entire life trying to maintain the image that others have of me, but now I see that it is impossible to reconcile the difference between my outward appearance and my inner love of sweets. Well then, Master Tails, here is a reward for your efforts, as promised. A slowpoke cup. A cup for big time Pokemon fans. Kids are happy to drink out of it, making it a boon to parents. Drink out of it? Thanks to you, I was able to have a most delectably sweet experience. Moreover, I even feel that my narrow minded views have broadened ever so slightly. Please accept my heartiest of thanks. Yeah, and that's all the professors, I think, right? Awesome. That was cool. Uh, is there anyone else to talk to in the academy? 
No, that's it. Okay. Is the history professor still over here? Let me check. There she is. Yep, she is. Okay. So it looks like they're still around the academy. I mean, it makes sense. I do see them still. We still talk to them. Just no crests, I guess. But that is going to be it for this one, I think. Oh gosh, it's raining. Oh no. Yeah, let's see. Next stop is I am going to be doing the gym leader rematches. So I guess we'll go in order still. So we'll start off with her, uh, Katie. And then we'll go to yeah, Brassius. So, I mean, Bug and then Grass, that's... I mean, I have my fire team. It's right here. As you can tell, though, my team, I don't have that much team set up yet. I feel like it's just really cool to have teams for this, though. Uh, who is you? You're right. So this is my team I'll be bringing. So, that's that. That's going to do it for this video, though. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye.